the guy covering this thing because of his food. Yes. <laughs> I'm protecting your job, Mr. Jack. I know, and I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so, trick of special angles. identity, uh, trig uh, ratios of angles like 30, 45, 60, majorly, okay? Without the use of calculator and in short form. So I'm speaking in terms of degree, of course the equivalence of radian, you know what to do, okay? So now, <clears throat> I'm gonna break this into two, and we're going to use one of the identities. You only need to remember maybe two or three. I'll give you a trick that I used in my high school days to Memorize in quotes this. So for 30 degrees and 60 degrees, we consider an equilateral triangle equivalent to that. There are other ways to get this, so you don't have to, you can read other textbook and they come up with this in different ways. Equilateral triangle of side maybe two units. Actually, any even number will work. So let's just go with this lowest uh, and negative even number. So if we have an equilateral triangle of side two, two units, okay, and we have a, we draw one of the lines of symmetry, which in this case happens to be the perpendicular, uh, it gives us perpendicular heights. Then this is one and this is one. Someone is feeling cold already. I know she's from Africa. I know it. You see, there are two African students here. Oh, three? No, okay, Krista is not having it. No, I mean, Krista, I thought we had it too. Any other person? So, actually, so there are three Africans here. Two of them look Asian, but they're actually African because they don't like the cold. Okay, now, <clears throat> look at this. So this is 60, clearly. This is 60, clearly, right? And these two will be 30 degrees after the bisection. The property that this perpendicular height is also the line of symmetry is what I'm using here. So we will be interested in the heights by Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, you know that 2 square will be 1 square plus h square. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Using any of the right angle triangles. Okay? And clearly, 4 minus 1 is h square, which gives h as root 3. Okay? Now that we have that, then we only need the trig ratios of 30 and 60. So one of the triangles is enough. So to make it easier, maybe I take the one here. Then I'm going to draw it in two ways. One having 60 and one having 30, so we can see this clearly. Okay, so let's have maybe 30 degrees first. But 30 degrees first, so I'm considering this, and I'm going to ignore the other trap angle. And for 60 degrees, I consider this. Okay, so that when these are put together, they form this part. Am I making sense? So if you are Writing and not paying attention, please try to, you can do both together. I'm not asking you to, ask you to stop writing. So this is one and this is two. This is one and this is two. So these two are combined to give this. Am I making sense? Do you understand? Wait, is everybody here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to So from here, what is sine 30 degrees? No, 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 calculator. From here, what is sign 30 degrees? Uh -huh. One over two. One over root. root what? Three. Are you sure? Wait, one over two. Are you sure? Two. 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 Two.
two. Yes. One, one over two, two or two? One over two. One over two. Are you sure it's not two? One over two. Not two. <laughs> can it be two? What is the maximum number sign of any angle can be? Like, just say it. <laughs> so your sign or cause can only be within negative one and one. So when something says sign of an angle is two, then something is wrong somewhere. Hmm? All right. So that's why I was trying to confuse this man. Like, are you sure? You know, I wanted him to say, oh, yeah, 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 it's two, it's two. Nice one. So basically, if you are confused or you are forgotten how this works, uh, sign is opposite to the hypotenuse from our Sokatua. And what is opposite? Any angle that faces the given angle. Hypotenuse is the longest side facing the right angle, and automatically the last one is A. Similarly here, this will be your opposite. This is the hypotenuse, then this will be the adjacent by default. Ah, understood? OK. So cos is adjacent of hypotenuse. So what is cos 6 cos 30? Yes, what is cos 30? Yeah? Come on, guys. For a 3 over 2. Thank you. And what is tan 30? One over root three, or root three over three, when you rationalize. I'm sure everybody knows rationalize already, so we don't have to tell us that. From the second triangle, let's look at sine 60. Sine 60 is what? Root three over two, that's opposite of hypotenuse. Use this. Root three over two. Cos 60. Yes? A over H. 1 over 2. Leo, you're not saying anything. You need to speak so I understand. So I know you understand. Tan 60. Root 3 over 1. Right? Which is root 3. Okay? Alright. Now, did you notice anything about sine and cos? That's, that's what she did. Did you see that? So sine 30 is cos 60. That is why sine and cos are complements. Remember I said complement of sine. Is that cosine? What do we mean by this? If you have two complementary angles, do you know what complementary angles are? We've talked about it before. They add up to 90. They add up to? 90. So if you have two complementary angles, the sine of one is the cosine of the other. Okay? Check your calculator. Pick two angles that add up to 90. Any two angles of your choice. I pick 0 and 90. You pick whatever. So I check sine 0, I check cos 90. Then flip it. Check cos 0 and check sine 90. See if you get the same. Pick any two. So it could be 1 and 89. It could be 45 and 45. Okay, it could be 50 and 40. So cosine means the complement of sine. It complements the sine. Does this make sense? Okay? And what I just said here will also help you in uh, memorizing if that is the word the last table that I'll be drawing. So once you just know with two of this, you can know the remaining four. So all you need to know is two of this. Okay, with two of this known, you can write out the six. Why? If you know sine, I know sine 30 is one over two. And I know that the other number is root three over two. So if I already know that sine 30 is one over two, then the other number root three over two must be sine 60. Do you understand? So with these two known, I know these two already. I understand? Tan is sine over cos. So if I divide this by this, I get this. And if I divide this by this, I get this. So knowing just two, I know the other, the, every, all the six here. Does it make sense? Mr. B, understood? 
All right. So we're going to look at 45 for sine and cos. And remember, 45 and 45 are complementary angles, right? So you only need to know sine 45. With that, you know cos 45. And with that, you know tan 45. So among all these nine numbers, how many do you need to know? How many do you need to know to, to get all the table complete? Three. three. You only need to know three. Two from here and one from the next one. Okay? And once you use it often, the rest is easy. You don't have to memorize, really. Okay? All right, let's begin. Okay, you come here. Stay right there. Good boy. He's listening. You want to stay. You have good stuff here. You listen, you know? Okay, so 45 degrees. Before you call me crazy, I'm just going to continue. I like, oh my God, it's crazy. It's causing himself. I was talking to you. How can we get 45 degrees? You know, we can get 30 and 60 from equilateral triangle. What kind of triangle can give 45 degrees? Isosceles. What kind of isosceles? Because I could give you isosceles that won't be 45. I could give you 80 here, 80 here, 160, and I give you 20 here. I don't get 45. There is a special isosceles triangle that can give 45. Think, 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 think. If it is like so solid, and one of them is 45, the other will also be what? 45. And the last will be? So that is an isosceles right angle triangle. It's easy. It's an isosceles right angle triangle. Okay? Of side odd unit, actually. So we take We consider an isosceles. Isosceles. Right angle. Isosceles, right angle. Triangle of side one unit. So by Pythagoras theorem, you, you find the last side. So uh, maybe we call it the hypotenuse. Maybe we we'll call it H. So h squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to 2. Then h is root 2. Right? And because it's isosceles right angle triangle, we only need to indicate 1. Right? So if this is opposite, and this is hypotenuse, then this is adjacent. If you indicate this, you get the same, because it's 1, 1 anyway. Am I too fast? OK, great. So here, let's see. Sine 45. Guess what is sine 45? Mm. Sine 45? From the picture? It's what? One over root two. And what is cos 45? Same. You don't even need to think twice. 45 and 45 are complementary angles. So find sine 45 must be cos 45. And because they are equal, what is tan 45? Because when you divide sine by cos, you must get tan, right? Uh -huh. So tan 45 is 1 over 1, which is 1. So I need you to check this in the calculator. The calculator gives you the answer in sort form. Check some of this randomly to see. So we're going to draw a table of summary. And when I'm testing you, maybe when you come back next year, <coughs> I'll draw that table with our calculator a session with a, maybe a short quiz with a calculator, and I'll say complete this table, just to see if you remember how to complete the table. So just check them randomly and see. So I say table of summary, for example. Put it that way. So here, let's say sign. Cos and tan. So I'll start with zero. Actually, and maybe I just do 30, 45, and 60. 30, 45, yeah, let's focus on this. Zero and 180 will come later. 45 and 60. Sorry. Let's 
between 0 and 90. We don't need to go to 1. So I'll fill the one in the middle. So it's 1 over 2. So check this. If I'm completing this table, especially the 9 uh, values here, Sine 30 is cos 60. So I put the same thing here. Hmm? I know that sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So that must also be cos 30 root 3 over 2. Sine 45 is 1 over root 2. And that is also cos 45. Divide this by this, you get 1. That's tan 45. Divide this by this, you get 1 over root 3. That's tan 30. Divide this by this, you get root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Hmm? Sine 0 is 0. Cos cos which is going to be cos 90. That's the degree. Sine 90 is 1, which will be cos 0. Okay? And 0 divided by 1 is 0, so tan 0 must be 0. 1 divided by 0 is undefined, so tan 90 does not exist. Does that make sense? How do you remember that sine 0 is 0? Do you remember the sine graph is this? Remember this? Start from here. Have you done something like this in physics or maybe IGCSE math? No, I'm not saying it's part of your physics syllabus, but when I was there doing wave equation and stuff, we draw shapes like this. So maybe you haven't done there, but I'm sure you will. And we're still going to look at the um, look at trick function, just like we look at the behavior of rational functions in the last topic. So now in this topic, you'll be looking at behavior of trig functions as well. So if you are not uh, used to this shape, it's fine. You're still going to do it. Okay. So, so that is the summary. Now, why is this important? Why do we need this? Let's see some applications. Find the exact value of sine 75 degrees. Everybody? Look up, everyone. Find the exact value of sine 75 degrees. So you think of how 75 can be written as sum or difference of two special angles. When I say special angle, I'm talking about 30, 45, and 60. Don't include 0 or 90. Is that clear? Well, in some cases, you might. But if you are dealing with something like this, you just use special angle. So how can we get 75 degrees, please? Say that again. That would be sine 30 plus 45. Now, what does this look like? An identity for compound angle, the addition for sine. Remember sine A plus B from Saturday, which is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, right? So what will this be? Everybody? Sine 30 cos 45 plus cos 30 sine 45. Then we substitute from this table. Sine 30 is what? 1 over 2. 45, 1 over root 2, right? Did I write 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 3? It doesn't matter. We're still going to rationalize. In some cases, this is root 2 over 2, which is the rationalized value of 1 over 2. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Plus cos 30, root 3 over 2, and this is also 1 over root 2. This is what we simplify, and we get the exact value. So let's simplify. So this will be, you can write 1 over 2 root 2, and just follow my uh, talk, whatever I say, try to imagine and picture it. So root 3, then you have 2 root 2. Then we're going to rationalize by multiplying by root 2 over 2. This step can be avoided if you write this as root 2 over 2 from the beginning, for those that can write it directly. But this is what I remember, because I get this eight from directly from this picture. So it's easy for me to know. Hmm? 
So that will be root 2 plus root 6 divided by what? 4. Can you put this in your calculator and see if you get something like this? Exact value, please. If your calculator can give you such form. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So if you are doing a non-calculator paper, you won't be able to check that. So you should be able to do this. I'm going to put the next question on the board, and I want you to try. Because 15 degrees. There are two ways to do this, so it doesn't matter which way you use, because 15 degrees, they're looking idle. Don't think about it in your head and tell me the answer. I need to see the work inside. One of five degrees. So try plus fifteen degrees, please. No. Nope. Divided by two. What 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 would the second part be? There is no identity for divided by two. Remember? The first clue is to write it as compound angle. That's the first thing. Do you understand what I mean by compound angle? What I call the addition formula the last time. Sign A plus B. Cos A plus B, sin A plus or minus B. You are on Zoom. Does it mean you have less thing on Zoom? Maybe Zoom is out. This is, yeah. This is all we call compound angle. So your whole CD is going to go to form 6 with you. Too bad. It's counting the lines. She wants it to be so neat, like it's part of a high BEE. It's so neat. And a pound. Right. If you have done, cost 15, raise your hand. I come around. Okay. okay. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. This is one way to go about it. And it makes so much sense. Coming to you, sir. Good. Yeah, that also makes sense. Yeah, you're working on that. So I see most of you use cos 45 minus 30. What other thing can you use? Number one. What do you mean number one? You just said it was complementary angles. I know. No, 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 you can't just say number one. <laughs> so most of you did, yes? Say that again. 60 minus 45 can also be used. OK? 60 minus 45 can also be used. And it will be the same. OK? So try time 105. One of the questions in the book is this. Tan pi over 8. I need someone to try it. Tan pi over 8. Tan pi over 8. You might want to think in degree to make life easier. 
but you have to write in radian. So plus pi over 12 plus sine pi over 12 all squared. The exact value. That's another problem from the book. Very sweet, sweet problems. Very sweet problems. If you're lost, deliver with someone beside you or talk to me. Let's work faster. Whatever we do, we work faster. Questions so we correct them as we go from one part of the board to another. So I'll post this on our group so we can make use of them later. Anyone done and 105 degrees? Just two people. And 105 degrees, yeah. Four now. Okay. Five. Okay. Is anyone still struggling with cos 15? Not sure. If you have completed cos 15, raise your hand. Okay. All right, sir. Which one are you up to now? And 105. I just want to check. So, how did you write in compound form tan 105? Leo, how did you write tan 105 in compound angle form? I write tan 45 plus 60. Good. And it will be 60 plus 45. It doesn't matter. So, you're going to have a fraction over fraction. Perfect. Come on. Here I go. to use the back from this, feel free to go. Okay, send to the group.
pi pi over 12. What, what is that angle in degree? 5 times 22 over 12 is that? 180 divided by 12. 75. 75. 